guys, let's continue with um, 3.3, member proteins and their functions. Now, uh, we come to the most part of a fluid mosaic model, uh, which is a membrane is a collage of a di different a protein. And different type of a cell contain different set of a membrane protein and the various uh, membrane within a cell each um, have a unique collection of protein. So, uh, this is the type of protein in here. Uh, we have a peripheral a protein, which is um, uh, not embedded in the membrane. Okay, This is um, a loosely bound to the surface of the membrane. And next, uh, we have integral proteins, uh, which is penetrate the hydrophobic core and integral protein uh, that span the membrane are called transmembrane protein. Okay, now look at this figure. Okay, still uh, remember this figure. So, this is where the peripheral protein and this one is integral of protein. You can see in here the peripheral protein is only loosely bound on the surface of the membrane and this integral protein yes to penetrate the hydrophobic core of the uh, membrane. Okay. Okay let's uh, take a look at this one. This is the uh, trans uh, membrane protein which is uh, penetrate the uh, the hydrophobic core of the membrane. Okay, look, uh, they have um, one, two, three, seven alpha helix in the secondary uh, structure. Okay, this is a, an example of a bacterial uh, transport protein, which is a bacterial ordopsin. Okay, ordopsin. So um, you can see in here. Yes, alpha helical secondary structure is a hydrophobic part. And you can see in here, this is an N terminus and C terminus, which is a non helical structure in contact with a different aqueous solution at a extracellular side and at a cytoplasmic side of the a membrane. So uh, look at um, the outside. Okay. Certain membrane outside in here, certain membrane protein uh, attach um, to material outside the cell, for example, a fiber of extra uh, cellular uh, metric. And for this inside in here, uh, some uh, membrane uh, protein are held uh, in a place uh, by attachment to the cytoskeleton. Now, uh, let's uh, look at the function of the uh, membrane protein. Okay. Single cell um, have a cell surface membrane proteins that carry out several different functions such as um, transport protein uh, involved in enzymatic activity, uh, which is involved in signal transduction process, uh, cell to cell recognition as an uh, intercellular joining molecule and also attached to the cytoskeleton and extracellular metric. So look at this. Um, this is the example. We will uh, continue to look at one by one for at the uh, next uh, slides. Okay. So this is for transport and this is for enzymatic activity and this is for a signal transduction, uh, cell to cell recognition uh, and this is for intercellular joining and this is the attachment to the cytoskeleton and ECM. Okay, and um, a sub um, function of membrane protein, uh, in many cases, um, a single protein uh, perform uh, multiple tasks as well. Okay, the first one, uh, the function as a transport protein. Okay, many uh, membrane protein are involved in the transport of molecule across the membrane okay. and some uh, form channel that uh, selectively allow 
uh, the passage of a specific ion or molecules uh, or other uh, protein or pump uh, that use ATP or other energy sources uh, to actively transport solute across the membrane. Okay. Look at this one. Okay, for the left one. Okay, left one. A protein that expands uh, the membrane uh, may provide hydrophilic channel across the membrane. There is, uh, there is a selectively uh, for a particular solute. Okay, and for the right one. Okay, and other uh, transport protein shuttle a substance uh, from one side okay, to other uh, by changing shape. Um, for example, a uh, carrier protein uh, such as uh, glucose. So uh, ATP, okay, uh, hydrolyze, um, uh, you will hydrolyze uh, the ATP as an uh, energy uh, source to actively pump uh, the substrate. Okay, the second one, the protein that involved in enzymatic activity. Okay, certain uh, membrane protein are uh, enzymes eh, uh, that catalyze reaction near the cell surface. Okay, for example, in mitochondria or chloroplast uh, membrane, uh, enzyme that uh, catalyze a series uh, of reaction uh, in a cellular respiration or photosynthesis uh, may be uh, organized um, together. Uh, in sequence to allow the uh, organelle to efficiently regulate those reaction. So look at this. Okay, this is a example of a sequence. A move here and then continue and move here and we'll continue. Okay, the next one is protein involved in signal transduction process. Okay, some uh, membrane protein are receptor. Uh, the receive information uh, from other cells uh, in the form of a chemical or electrical signal. Okay, uh, and most uh, vertebrate cells um, have a receptor uh, for hormone. Yeah? For hormone uh, released uh, by endocrine uh, glands. Yeah? So. Uh, this information may be transmitted from a protein uh, in the plasma membrane to the cell uh, interior by a signal a transduction. Okay, for example, this a process in, involved in how animal hormone uh, epinephrine a trigger the fight or flight response. Okay, if you can see in here, this is a signal molecules. Okay, this is the Protein act as a receptor. Okay, signaling molecule, the receptor will receive the signaling molecules, and um, this is a, a transduction process. Signal transduction process, there is a three relay, um, three relay um, transduction process until uh, it will um, give you the final response. Okay, uh, for number four. Uh, the protein involved in cell to cell recognition. Okay, some uh, membrane proteins serve as uh, identification tags. So, this is uh, basically the glycoprotein jobs. Okay? A cell normally recognize uh, each other by binding to the surface um, molecule. Uh, it's often a carbohydrates or a protein on the plasma membrane. The importance of um, the importance uh, is uh, for sorting of cell into tissue or uh, an organ in an animal embryo, and also basis for rejection of foreign cells by immune system. Okay, and a carbohydrate uh, on the external side of the uh, plasma membrane. Uh, vary among a species, individual and 
a cell type in an individual. Uh, for example, uh, your blood type. Huh? We have A, a B, A, B, and O. For, for example, a cell, for, a cell recognition is just like me to recognize you, student. It's about uh, your name, uh, your face, something like that. So glycoprotein act uh, like, like an identification tag uh, uh, for the uh, cell to cell uh, recognition. And next is um, as intercellular joining a molecule. Okay, uh, when a certain cell recognize um, one another, they connect to a uh, form a tissue, and some membrane protein uh, form a junction uh, between adjacent cells. Okay, this uh, protein uh, may also serve serve um, as anchoring uh, anchoring a point uh, for network of a skeletal uh, element. Okay, uh, there is a gap junction. Okay, gap junction. Um, also a call a communication, a communicating a communicating junction. Uh, we um provide a cytoplasmic channel between adjacent um cell. Uh, it consists of a membrane protein uh, that uh, surround a pore through which uh, ion, a sugar, amino acids, and other a small molecule uh, may pass. And there is uh, also a tight junction. Um, a uh, tight junction is uh, the plasma membrane of a neighboring cell are uh, very tightly pressed against uh, each other. Um, and they part uh, together by specific uh, a protein and a form a continuous a seal uh, around the cell and that's the preventing a leakage uh, of uh, extracellular uh, fluid. Okay, this is the, the figure shows the, 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 the example of uh, intercellular joining molecules. Uh, lastly, uh, as attached to the uh, cy cytoskeleton and extracellular matrix ACM. Okay. Uh, so, uh, microfilament or other element of the cy cytoskeleton may be uh, not a catalytically uh, bound to membrane protein. So, the function is uh, to help uh, maintain the uh, cell shapes and also uh, stabilize the location of the third uh, membrane protein. So uh, what's involved in this um, figure, you can see this is um, integrin. Okay, this is integrin. Um, we integrin is a membrane protein uh, with uh, two subunits uh, uh, bind uh, to the ECM. Okay, bind to the ECM on the outside and associated with um, protein attached uh, to a uh, microfilament. This is a microfilament in the inside. Okay. <clears throat> uh, this uh, linkage actually uh, can transmit signal uh, between the cell, okay, uh, external environment and in uh, its interior and can result in uh, changes in cell behavior. So, uh, Next one, you can see this one is, this one, this is a, a fibronectin, okay, which is attached the ECM to intergreen, uh, which is embedded in the plasma membrane. So, um, that's the six uh, major functions of um, protein that we have covered and um, we will continue to another subunit. Okay.